Hey, y'all, y'all tuned in right now to that Hood Talk News, man. That's your boy, Big Panamera, JT Bigger Figure, and Lockstone, Blackstone. You dig all the way from Fillmore, Africa, man. Keep pushing, my G. I just want the paper, I just want the paper Tryna run that check up, I ain't worried about no hater I just want the paper, I just want the paper Run around with that bankroll on my life, ain't looking for danger Yeah, yeah, we getting money over here Yeah, I see them haters over there Yeah, them boys be wishy-washy, yeah Yeah, oh, oh, oh Shut your dumb ass up! Yo, yo, I'm with Jay Storm right now. I just want to shout out to Hook Talk News and give him some love. Man, you already know what it is. All money in, no money out. Jay Storm from the east to the west. You already know, man. Shout out to Hood Talk News. You already know. Thanks, bro. Peace and love. HoodTalkNews.com. We on fire. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good? Man, it's a goddamn war going on outside on goddamn rappers, y'all. I'm going to tell you that right now. They, you know, America is overpopulated and we the first motherfuckers to get rid of, goddammit. And they, you know, killing regular niggas, they seen, you know, it didn't do too much, goddammit. You want to really start a goddamn war, start killing up some of these goddamn rappers. You see what I'm saying? I mean, they've been targeting us for a long time, man. You got to think about it, man. When when they was calling us gangster rap way back when motherfuckers was rapping about I heard Pabe as a motherfucking nigga. That's why suckers getting treated like a goddamn stepchild. You know what I'm saying? We goddamn uh fucking pop was rapping about Brenda's got a baby and he was a gangster rapper. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's a, it just they turned the music into what they wanted it to be. You see what I'm saying? Because when they were saying gangster rappers back then, people were listening to the lyrics and say, well, I don't see what's so gangster nigga saying fight the power. What the hell? You know, shit. What, what's so gangster about that, you know? And, 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 and God damn it, they saying uh, help the police. But if you listen to the if you listen to the lyrics, the reason why they saying help the police is because you got to listen to the lyrics. Help the police coming straight from the underground. A young brother got it bad because I'm brown. God damn it, y'all got you got to listen to the goddamn lyrics. You know what I'm saying? But today, you know, they 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 are um, getting these rappers and they putting out the worst shit that they can goddamn find. The shit that going to start a goddamn war. Now, why would you promote violence on the radio, through your record labels, all that bullshit? Because... What y'all doing is y'all putting an attack on these young brothers out here on the goddamn street, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? It's starting a war. If you keep, you know, when, when we was growing up, most of our rappers didn't die like that. You see the rappers coming and going and shit. You know what I'm saying? I think it's more that because the, these rappers are giving out too goddamn much. They location, they on Instagram, so you find their location. Goddammit, we ain't know all this shit about Michael Jackson. Every time we seen Mike, Mike, they said Mike was coming on goddamn TV at eight just to do the moonwalk and wave his hand. We was there waiting because we didn't see him often. That's what made a superstar goddamn superstar. Now, every day is a different rapper getting messed up. So now we got to start wondering about shit. We got to start wondering what the fuck going on in this goddamn world. You got goddamn Nipsey Hussle. You got Pop Smoke. You got goddamn uh, King Von. You got uh, Duck. You got goddamn uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Mo, uh, can't forget Mo3. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't a coincidence when niggas is getting gunned down in public. It's like they almost offering these niggas some shit like saying, hey, man, look, you ain't going to jail. I don't give a fuck where you hit them at. You ain't going to jail. If it's some goddamn cameras around, we going to make sure them motherfuckers is blurry than a the motherfucker. There ain't nobody going to see you. We going to make sure it's clear, goddammit. Because that's what seems to be going on. 
I think when they hired Eric Holder, they didn't realize they was hiring a mental goddamn patient. They ain't, you know what I'm saying? So they had to sit him away for a minute. That nigga could be in a goddamn luxury re resort somewhere. Straight up, man. Because nobody is really, you don't hear nobody even talking about the case. On his side, you don't hear no family of his saying they oh, they free him or trying to get him or nothing, man. Maybe he ain't in jail. We don't motherfucking know. But I know one thing. We can't sit around and be so goddamn blind, man. They're taking us the fuck out, man. Somebody done pushed the goddamn button, man. Somebody done pushed that motherfucker. There's a lot of motherfuckers out here mad, boy. In the best way to start a war is to take out some of these goddamn rappers. You know what I'm saying? These are the biggest influence. They are the biggest influence of fucking the world. Now, I ain't going to just say America. Shit. Rappers influence every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you got to look at King Von's situation, right? And this one thing you got to know. When God calls you, it's your time. Like I always say. But y'all got to think about it, right? If Vaughn would have got killed in Chicago, which that's probably what they wanted. They, they, you know, a lot of motherfuckers mad because he didn't get killed in Chicago. You see what I'm saying? But if Vaughn would have got killed in Chicago, think about it now. The life he was living, if he would have got killed in Chicago, it would have been a war. A lot of people would have been fucking dropping, man. You see what I'm saying? Because when you live that life, God knows you're going to go out the, the way you're going to go out, God damn it. So I think he made it a little more safer for Chicago because Vaughn was a, 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 a big figure in Chicago, God damn it. So, one thing, you know what I'm saying, a lot of lives got saved. Because that shit would have happened in Chicago, man. It would have been goddamn World War Three, goddamn it. Straight the fuck up. It would have been crazy. A lot of babies, a lot of kids would have got killed. You know what I'm saying? And I feel the brother should have went on and lived his life and did great in life. It shouldn't have got killed nowhere. But you know God do everything for a reason, y'all. And we can't we can't sit here and question him why he do things the way he do it. Because when I look at, you know, Vaughn's situation, I really didn't see too many people like family or nothing really in their goddamn feelings. It seemed like everybody felt like more like he's resting now. We knew this day was coming. You know what I'm saying? He's resting now. You know, that's why, you know, you, you, you gotta, you gotta like a lot of these young guys really got to stop talking about death and all that shit all the time, man. I got to want to live, man. God gave you life. You got to want to live that motherfucker because what you're doing is you starting to chain reaction, right? So all these little young guys that look up to you, they looking up to you saying, damn, you know, Shit, if he depressed with money, I want to be just like him. I don't give a fuck what you do in this world. God damn it. I don't give a, you could be the madman. You could be famous for being the madman. And you're going to be some goddamn kids going to want to be the madman too, God damn it. So what you push out, you know what I'm saying, as an entertainer, you influencing a lot of motherfuckers, man. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's the influence we don't need, man. Y'all niggas got to start talking about living more, man. Y'all got to start talking about living. Y'all got to stop giving them what they want. Y'all got to stop talking about the op. Y'all got to stop saying that shit. Because the only person the op is, is one of your own goddamn kind. Genocide is at its finest, goddamn it. For real, man. Man, I just want the world to goddamn wake up and look around and see what the fuck going on around you. You know what I'm saying? Especially my people. And anybody, you know what I'm saying? That's for positivity. And that's for everybody. You know, I'm for everybody, goddammit. But I like to talk to my people a lot because lately we've been we've been the goddamn stupidest goddamn race. I ain't gonna tell you no goddamn lie. And that's on the real. 
But hey, man, I encourage everybody to stay positive. Keep your head up. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you got to do to promote this channel, man. I love y'all. I'm out.